Welcome to DD Garden TV. In this video, we will try to explain what should be done to get yield in eggplant. Point one of the most important issues in eggplant is fertilization, because it is a fertilizer loving plant, but in this video we will give information on how to prune only to invest in yield. Many people may know about pruning, but some of the tricks and timings we will give are topics that do not know much, we recommend you to watch it, basically, if we list the benefits that pruning eggplants will provide us as follows, it increases air circulation on the stem and leaves, preventing the formation of bacteria, mold and fungi, after watering and rain, it helps the leaves to dry faster, preventing the spread of the disease due to excessive moisture, IT makes it easier to see leaf eating. Pests, which often hide on the leaves increases fruit production, IT produces healthier fruits, spending more energy on its development, I in colder climates with a short growing season, it allows the fruit to ripen faster, first of all, let's state that do not intensively prune any plant, you will cause it to go into shock. Except for the pruning you do in the early stages for finishing pruning, remove the leaves gradually, the eggplant should be pruned basically by creating three main branches, like the pruning techniques we do for fruit trees. It is necessary to prune eggplant in the early period, so that in order to prevent the fruit from getting sunburned, you give it the opportunity to create shading, removing new leaves. During the growing season of your eggplant, you may remove unnecessary branches, but it may need serious pruning, especially during periods when it is overgrown. After midsummer, if it develops too much, this is how you can prevent it from entering summer fatigue. In eggplant, which has fallen into summer fatigue, the flowers do not turn into fruit, the formed fruits do not develop. Until the weather begins to cool down, he just waits. You keep thinking, why is this eggplant like this? To prevent this, you will either follow a regular feeding schedule that is not much from the beginning or it may be necessary to do a hard pruning, start pruning from the sofa shoots. Remove the seat shoots that you take between your thumb and forefinger, bending them back and forth. You can also use a tool such as a utility knife if you want, but be careful not to damage the body. Next, remove all the leaves under the ground where the fork is formed. The place we call forks are strong branches that form first from the main trunk. No leaves or new branches left under them. Even if there are fruits, tear them off in the trunk. Because these leaves will begin to form diseases in a few weeks. Apart from the disease, pests also lay their new eggs on these leaves, as they are cooler. In this way, we get rid of them. Next, remove all the branches that are inward facing inside the fork. These branches develop, reducing the air circulation inside the eggplant and causing a humid environment, in which case it invites diseases. Immediately remove the leaves from which you have seen the pest damage or, most importantly, you have begun to show signs of disease, you will prevent the spread of diseases. But it is necessary to well detect damage to the leaves, learn to diagnose well the signs of disease with a lack of nutrients. In the video Why Tomato Leaves Turn Yellow, we told about leaf damage, especially due to lack of nutrients. We encourage you to watch. See you in another videos. We wish everyone beautiful gardens.